Hello, welcome to the video for what is a blueprint macro library. A blueprint macro library is basically a library that you can use from anywhere where you can access your blueprint macros. You'll actually be surprised you more than likely have been using them this entire time but did not know and I'll cover that at the end of this video. For my quick example here I just simply have a button when you jump it subtracts 30 energy and when you cannot jump anymore it will not go down anymore and it will tell you that. I am using a blueprint macro library to do that so let's go over how we did it. If you right click go to blueprint and go to blueprint macro library it's going to ask you to pick a parent class. This is very important. The blueprint macro library anything you create inside of it will only show up if you're using one the same common parent class. For example, if you wanted to make some blueprint macros that you used in your UMG widgets, you need to make sure that your parent class then would be the user widget. If you want it to be an actor, it needs to be the actor for the parent class. Basically the same parent class that you intend to use these in needs to be the same parent class for your blueprint macro library. If you are unsure which one you need, you can simply open up one of your blueprints and at the top it will show parent class and the type of the parent class. For my example, since I'm going to be using a user interface to do the example, I've created a generic macro library of user, win user widget as the native parent class. Let's go ahead and open this up and we're going to go ahead and see our blueprint macro interface. If you've used blueprint interfaces themselves this will look very familiar basically on the top right you have your different macros below that your detail panel and then your actual blueprint itself there are no events there are no anything special basically this just simply holds macros and that's it so for example I've gone ahead and made a generic macro here it has our input and output sorry it has our input and our output along with the code I want to run. If I go into my example file and pull it up that we're using and I go in here basically what I've done is I've made a generic macro called adjust value. It's going to take in two things currently a current value and a cost value and then it will output whether it was successful or not. My blueprint macro if we walk through it if you've gone through and done blueprint macros already, it's the same. We have our input pins and execute wires. And then we have our output pins or execute wires. For this, I have an input. I have the current value, which I'm actually sending by reference, which is important. And then the cost value, which will be the cost of whatever action we want to do. I am subtracting the current value from the cost, sorry, the cost value from the current value and determining if it is greater than zero, as in do we have enough of energy or mana or health, whatever. If we adjusted this value, will we still maintain over zero? If so, it goes to true. If not, it goes to false. True will output yes, false will output no. Here's the important node in this one, and this is why you did it in a macro library to make it universal. This is a set integer by reference. Basically, when we go into our macro and we call it, I'm actually passing in a reference to the player energy variable right here, the entire player variable energy, not just the value, but the actual variable itself. And when I'm in the macro, I'm adjusting that if we have enough energy by the amount that we want to adjust it, 10, 20, 30, whatever the amount is, setting it back in the original spot over here because it is by reference and then outputting yes. So this one little macro actually allows me to take in two things, determine what I want to do with it, do something with it, and then output a yes or no result and then act accordingly. Because this is a blueprint macro, I don't have to, I could have 10 different user interfaces over 10 different maps covering 10 different things, and I can use one macro that's universal throughout all of them. And to access it, you would just right click, type in whatever it is, adjust value for example, it's under my custom category, and then you fill out the appropriate information. 
Now if you notice, if you double click on it, it will take you right back to the macro library. So that's it. Macro library is basically a universal library of macros that can be accessed from any of the same parent class. So like I said, you have been using these this entire time. You've been doing blueprints and I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and open up a for loop. If we open up a for loop and double click, you'll actually notice it is a macro. We, there is a standard macros library that ships with Unreal Engine 4. And you'll notice you have a lot of things in here. Your different flow controls, your different array loops, some basic math things such as comparing floats, incrementing and decrementing. Basically, they made a common macro library. They used object as the parent class. That way it could be generic and apply to everything. And it's just simply a way, instead of having this big old mess of wires, you have one nice little node called for loop. And that's it. That's a blueprint macro library. You'll find it is very handy when you have things that need to be reused and you will eventually make yourself a nice macro library that you can drop in and out of your projects to make things quickly and simple.